Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies PLTR stock. We're going to be talking about how Palantir is now deepening their partnership with Accenture. Then we're going to talk about why Palantir has actually outperformed the overall stock market for today. Then we're going to see what brokerages are thinking about Palantir Technologies and why many brokerages and analysts are slowly becoming more positive and bullish on this company, which is fantastic news for PLTR stock investors. And then lastly, we're going to talk about if Palantir stock is a buy right now based on this newfound analyst support. So for more Palantir stock news updates, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you're new, comment your thoughts down below about the PLTR stock. And without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So we're going to start off talking about how Palantir is deepening their partnership with Accenture, which is another phenomenal stock that I personally hold in my portfolio. And this partnership revolves around both of these companies creating a new innovation center. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company that serves both commercial clients as well as government agencies, and Accenture is a consulting firm that focuses on artificial intelligence, analytics, and of course automation. Palantir will be using their Foundry platform to help build this new innovation center, and their Foundry platform is going to act as the central operating system to process very large amounts of data, mainly financial data, operational data, and even manage Accenture's technical systems while optimizing their decision making, which is going to be very helpful for Accenture because they are a consulting firm. Palantir's Foundry software and platform has already more than proven itself because they have phenomenal partnerships with companies such as Merck, Airbus, and Ferrari. The new Accenture Palantir Studio will be able to house around 1,000 Foundry experts, which is going to be of great assistance to Accenture in their overall consulting endeavors. Accenture is a massive company that has around 700,000 employees in around 50 countries. The global lead for Accenture Accenture's Applied Intelligence said that this alliance with Palantir will enhance how we integrate disparate data sets, ensure high data quality and richness, and apply new AI techniques to solving big problems, helping our clients get better insights and decision capabilities." End quote. So that is very good news and Accenture is very excited to further their relationship with Palantir Technologies. I also want to highlight that last year, Palantir helped another consulting firm named Alex Partners, and they have been of great help to that company, so I think that Palantir throughout the years will even further deeper their relationship with Accenture and other consulting firms across the globe. So overall, this is very positive news for Palantir as a company as well as the PLTR stock. Speaking about the PLTR stock, what is the stock currently trading at? Well, right now, the PLTR stock is currently trading at around $12.46 per share. However, like we talked about in our last video, Video, we actually saw a new analyst initiate coverage on the Palantir PLTR stock, and that was Brian White, who is a five-star analyst that said that Palantir stock price should be at least $20 per share. So he gave the PLTR stock price a $20 per share price target over the next 12 months, which represents around a 60% upside from the stock's current price. He also said that this stock is a clear buy right now, which could have caused Palantir to outperform the overall S&P 500 because yesterday Palantir Technologies PLTR stock fell by only around 1.58% while the overall stock market benchmark of the S&P 500 index sank by around 1.7%. So this is really good news overall. We also see many other analysts and brokerages slowly becoming more bullish on Palantir Technologies, which I predicted in a couple of my last videos. The reason why analysts are slowly, very slowly changing their opinion on the PLTR stock and Palantir in general is because they understand that Palantir Palantir has managed to build a very competitive moat over in their governmental and commercial segments. This has allowed Palantir Technologies to deliver sustainable revenue growth and overall solid revenue numbers, which eventually will lead them to solid profitability in the future, which I think will come between 2024 and 2025. And once Palantir Technologies becomes profitable, we could see the PLTR stock price appreciate very aggressively. As you can see from the stock price down below, we have seen a major downtrend in the overall stock price after 
after a portion and a set of time of just the stock consolidating. However, during a time of weakness is the best time to actually purchase stocks like Palantir Technologies, specifically if they are a fantastic growth stock. Now, the reason why we would want to buy the PLTR stock is because they have around a 30% CAGR or compounding annual growth rate for their revenues until 2025, which is absolutely phenomenal. Anything around 30% or more for their revenues on top of a company that is on their way to profitability due to their commercial segment is absolutely amazing, which is why I personally own Palantir Technologies, and it's why I am personally very bullish on the overall company. Now, with that being said, I don't rate Palantir stock as a buy right now because many investors are already overexposed to Palantir stock because they bought at very high prices around this range that I just circled. And because of that, averaging it down might not be the best option for them because that would overexpose them and put too much portfolio weight on a single speculative stock such as Palantir Technologies because Palantir Technologies does have risk associated with this very aggressive growth stock. Now, I do think that Palantir is a good long-term buying opportunity, but proper risk management tells us not to overexpose ourselves to a single company. But overall, analysts understand that this is a solid company, or at least they're slowly understanding that this is a solid company with a very bright future ahead of it. However, with that being said, this is still a very high speculative technology stock that is anticipated to have good growth between 2024, 2025, and beyond. So please keep that in mind that this could be a good buying opportunity for some investors, but overall, if you are already exposed or overexposed to the company, there's no sense averaging it down right now, and you'd honestly just hold it for the long term. Now, remember, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion, because I don't want you to take on unnecessary risk of overexposing yourself to a single risky technology growth stock. But with that being said, let's see what brokerages actually have to say for themselves. So we saw that a recent five-star analyst gave a $20 price target over the next 12 months. However, brokerages have an average price target for the company of around $15.38, which is again very positive. They also have a hold rating for the PLTR stock, which I actually tend to agree with right now, as long as you are not overexposed to the company. However, if you want to buy into Palantir Technologies or the PLTR stock for the first time, now could be a fantastic buying opportunity because the stock is trading at a very cheap valuation comparing to what the stock was previously trading at. From these brokerages and institutions, one investment analyst from from these brokerages has a sell recommendation while five of these professionals have a hold recommendation and three of these analysts or brokerages slash institutions have a buy recommendation for this overall company and of course these are all 12 month price initiations for these various ratings however the average 12 month price prediction among all of these brokerages analysts and financial institutions is $15.89 which is very bullish however if we just decide to average what analysts analysts think the analysts are saying $15.38. But regardless, both of these price targets are trading above the current stock price of around $12 to $13 right now, which means that it's a good buying opportunity, especially if you haven't bought into PLTR stock already. But if you do buy into the PLTR stock, you have to be willing to hold for the long term. For instance, many institutions and a couple analysts are very bearish and negative about this overall company. A prime example of this is Zach's Investment Research, who actually cut their price target for Palantir Technologies and their buy rating from a strong buy rating down to a hold rating. So currently, Zax just thinks that this company is a good holding opportunity. Piper Sandler, on the other hand, has a $15 price target for this company, while five-star analysts actually have a $20 price target for the company. Deutsche Bank has a $15 price target and a hold rating for this company, very similar to what Piper Sandler has actually initiated on the company. And Citigroup is probably one of the most bearish institutions covering the stock, and they have a sell rating with a $10 price target, which was lowered from their original price target of around $13. So as you can see, analysts, institutions, and other financial reporters are split on this overall company. However, I personally think that the company has solid fundamentals, very good financials, fantastic revenue growth, and the company is going to achieve profitability between 2024 and or in the year of 2025, which is extremely bullish, especially if you're going to hold this company for the long term. Now, with that being said, it begs the question, is Palantir Technologies a solid buying opportunity because we have new analyst support and very good price targets that are trading above the stock's current stock price? Well, the 
answer to that is that it depends on your personal portfolio. If you are already taking on a lot of risk by investing into very speculative single stocks, then this company might not be for you. It might be better to wait for Palantir Technologies to become a profitable company and then for you to actually invest into the PLTR stock. That would definitely be one of the more safer options. Now, another option is if you have already bought into Palantir Technologies and you actually bought into the company at a very high price, such as when the stock was in its consolidation phase, then averaging down could be an option as long as you are already not overexposed to the company and it doesn't make up more than 5% of your portfolio allocation. However, if it does make up 5% of your portfolio allocation or more, then holding the company and not averaging down is most likely going to be your best bet and it's also the safest because you're going to be practicing proper risk management. Now, if you have not entered into a position in the PLTR stock, buying right now in this red circle over here could be a prime buying opportunity between eight to $12 per share. Because according to analysts and various institutions that we just looked at, you have a very good margin of safety because it is trading below $15 because analysts think that the company should be trading between 15 to $20 per share. However, other institutions such as Morningstar actually thinks that the PLTR stock's fair value price is $31 per share. Now, I personally find that rather bullish and very positive, even though this could be true, I wouldn't necessarily bet on the company reaching $31 per share in the next 12 months. So with that being said, it's up to you to pick which strategy and how much risk you want to take on by investing into the PLTR stock. I also want to add that it might take a lot of time for investors and even analysts to get rid of the bad taste in their mouth from the PLTR stock crashing from their consolidation because sometimes after a consolidation period, the stock tends to move higher, except in this case, due to macroeconomic factors, the PLTR stock started to downtrend, which is not good for the overall company. So investors are psychologically recovering from this drop in the PLTR stock price. So buyers should be careful before they give more capital to the PLTR stock. There are phenomenal growth companies right now that are trading at a discount, including Palantir Technologies, and it's up to you to find them and manage your risk very well. For me personally, Palantir Technologies makes up around 4% allocation in my portfolio, and I don't intend on adding any more PLTR stock above a 5% portfolio weight because that would be bad risk management in my personal opinion. This saves me from taking on unnecessary losses, especially if I plan to hold the company over the long term, which I most certainly do for Palantir Technologies because I am very bullish on the long-term price appreciation for Palantir. But with that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts down below about the PLTR stock price. I would love to hear your strategy and what you are doing for Palantir Technologies and how long you plan to hold the company, remember to go and smash that like button right now for more Palantir stock news updates. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.